Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be sharing an updated look at my movie room. I first introduced it and showed it off a few months back when I set it up and first moved into this space. And now since then, I've made a number of changes to it, enough so that I think you'd enjoy another look at what it's doing because it's really coming together and I'm really loving it. So let's get this intro out of the way and we'll get started. Welcome once again, my name is Austin and this channel is all about helping you to dig deeper and go further to better understand faith and film and everything that's in between. If that sounds exciting to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future content. Now it's been a few weeks since I've actually made a video. I actually made a bunch of videos kind of to uh, set myself up for not making a video for a while because we had our first baby, my wife and I, and so I wanted to have enough videos up to keep you guys entertained while we were adjusting to life with a new child. So uh, if you don't follow me on any of my other social channels, for example, like Instagram, I share personal life updates in there and stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you check out my Instagram account for more personal looks at some of the day-to-day -day stuff that I do. I also just reached 1,000 subscribers over the past week or so, which is incredibly exciting and a huge milestone for me personally and for the channel. So thank you to anyone who watches my content, subscribes to my channel, interacts in the comment section, any of that kind of stuff. I thoroughly appreciate it and each and every one of you. So thank you for that. On my Instagram about a month ago, I reorganized my movie collection by genre. I felt that most of the time when I had people over to watch movies and we were picking something, rather than, oh, what title do you want to watch? It was more, what kind of movie are you in the mood for? So I wanted to try reorganizing it based on genre. And so let's take a closer look. So along the top row here, these are all of my action movies. So I got all my action titles up here alphabetized on the top row. Then on the second and bleeding into the third row, we have my science fiction fantasy movies, which is the biggest section in my collection being all the way down to there. Then this next section, these are all of my dramas, which I was pretty happy to see is actually that big of a section because I didn't know I was into it by that much. Uh, jumping over here, we have my comedies. And then below that, we have all of my horror movies. Then down on this bottom section here, we have all the animated movies in my collection, all of the Christmas movies in my collection, and then these are our remaining DVDs. Most of those are my wife's, those are mine, and then these are hers. Now, as you can see here, this is now my TV show display. So I previously had my Marvel Cinematic Universe here, but I wanted to kind of incorporate those into my sci-fi fantasy section. So. Previously, the TV shows were on the bottom of this shelf. I moved them over here, and it's already almost outgrown these two crates here, so I'll have to figure something out once I do grow beyond that. But for now, really happy with the TV show here, especially displaying my High Met Your Mother box set with a couple of the Funkos that I have here. Now here in front of the TV is probably where the least amount of changes have happened. I needed the crate that was over here displaying my popcorn buckets for my TV shows behind me over here. So I just left that open for now. I'll figure out something else down the road. And then that right there is still the same, keeping my video games and some of my figures, that kind of thing. But you will notice a new little guy lit up over there. I'll give you a closer look at that right now. So this is an astronaut guy that projects a kind of galaxy and stars onto the ceiling or the walls around. I showed it off on my Instagram account a little bit, but you can kind of see here, uh, it projects a galaxy onto the ceiling and then every 10 seconds or so, yep, all these stars come on. So it kind of lights up all around the room here and does some pretty cool stuff. So I got that guy for like 30 bucks on Amazon. It was something I saw on TikTok. I don't remember if I showed this off previously, but this is a Jaws sign that I picked up. I love the movie Jaws and I thought this sign was super cool. So I added it above where I display all of my box sets. That's not really changed. I think the only real addition there is that Eliza Hamilton Funko Pop from the Hamilton musical. I got it for my wife for Christmas. It's one of her favorite movies. So, so this is probably the change I'm most excited to show. These are the Lord of the Rings posters that I've had for probably a couple of years now. My sister got them for me for Christmas a couple years ago. Finally got some frames for them, had half space to hang them. So uh, we got a Gandalf one over here, another Gandalf one below it. That one's kind of got like a cool art style. I'll give you a close up on B-roll of these. We got Rivendale and then the Ring of Power, uh, this wall that I don't remember. 
this wall that I don't remember the name of off the top of my head, the Balrog, which is probably my favorite one, and then Sauron and the Witch King themselves. And we have a great uh, J.R.R. Tolkien quote of not all those who wander are lost. And then lastly, a buddy of mine works at a movie theater and hooked me up with a couple of Batman posters for the new Batman movie. Uh, so I got a frame for this one just over this past week. Finally got it hung up and absolutely love it. This Star Wars one I've had up before. I had another one up here, but it fell off because these aren't the stickiest walls to put stuff on. So I got to figure out a new way to mount that. But absolutely love this poster. I'll give you a quick overview so you can kind of see the room fully together. So I don't remember if I showed this previously, but when you come down the stairs, you got this Admit One Cinema ticket, and then you come down, and here's the movie room along this wall. So you have the Star Wars canvas poster, the Batman poster, my Lord of the Rings posters, Jaws with all my box sets, all my little figures, my TV, uh, my Legend of Zelda one. Actually, I forgot to show that one individually, so I have that one there. Right there on that wall next to the breaker box, I have my Invisible Man poster. Um, actually, it's not hung yet, but I guess since it's the Invisible Man, I can say it's hung. I just still need to get a frame for it. And then my collection, which you're very familiar with seeing here, with the new layout by genre. So extremely happy with how everything is coming together. Not too much more to do to it at this point. Uh, but again, as I add stuff to it, I'll be sure to share updates for you guys. So once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my look at my new and updated movie room with the new things I've added to it. I absolutely love it. It's a great kind of escape for me to come down here, watch a movie, relax, that kind of thing. Uh, again, thank you for your patience as I put out some extra videos while I adjust to life with a child. I absolutely am loving it so far. I'm getting ready to go back to work next week, but still planning on putting out regular content as often as I can, hopefully weekly. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.